Hello, my name's Miriam and I teach music and performing arts and I'm the head of the department here at Richard Taunton Sixth Form College. I play the piano and the flute and I sing and I also teach on the performing arts course and the popular music course as well as music A-level. So the music A-level course is um, suitable for students who are of about grade five standard. You will need at least five GCSEs at grade five, um, including English language. But we also ask all students to come and audition for us. Um, so that's to gauge whether you are of the right standard. So if you haven't got grade five on paper, don't worry about it, but come in and play to us and we'll make a decision about whether we think you could cope on the course. You must also be able to read music. So on this course, we'll be studying um, lots of classical music. So the first two topics um, feed into um, the history of the symphony. So we look at two symphonies, one by Haydn and one by Mendelssohn, um, and look at how the symphony has changed over time. Topics three and four um, are all about 20th century art music and we study two set works there, one by Debussy and one by Poulenc. And then finally we look at jazz and study a range of different artists looking at the different genres of jazz through time. There are a wide range of skills that you'll be working on with us. So we'll be developing your performance skills, both in lessons and through one-to-one -one instrumental lessons that we provide for you. Um, and you'll be working towards a recital in your second year. Um, so an external examiner will come in and, and hear your pieces. And you can, that can be um, slightly longer if you want to um, take a performance option, or you could do a shorter performance with more composition. So we work on compositions in class, we teach a range of uh, methods of composing and you'll come up with a portfolio of either two or three pieces depending on which option you choose. You'll study oral skills throughout the course and you'll learn how to listen to music and identify key features. You'll also be studying analysis so using your score reading skills in order to identify features of interest in the music and then applying all of that to essay writing skills which again will be tested in a final exam so this course is 100 percent externally assessed in addition to your lessons we strongly recommend that you get involved in extracurricular activities not just because it's good for your musical skills, but because it's fun. So we run various different choirs. Um, so we've got a choir and a cappella singers. We have a jazz band, a pit band for our production and various other groups, depending on the instruments that students play when they arrive with us. So sometimes we all have a brass group or a string group. We've had gypsy band in the past as well. And we have a college radio too. So if that's something that interests you, then do get involved in that. So this course would be a good preparation for a traditional music degree at university, or you might really love performing and really want to have more of a practical experience at a conservatoire. So we can help you with that and prepare you for auditions there. Um, or you, we've had several students in the past um, combine music with sciences and go on to read medicine or veterinary science um, or other subjects at universities. So some of the career options that might appeal to you if you're doing this subject possibly could be teaching or peripatetic music teaching, musicology, um, you might want to become a performer or a composer or work in music journalism or music therapy and many, many more. 
Every year we're involved in music in the city here in Southampton. So this is a great opportunity for our students to go out into the community and perform. And so that happens quite early on in the year. We also host Music for Youth and that's the largest festival, uh, the largest music festival in the country. Um, so you'll have the opportunity to audition to be part of that festival. Uh, in addition to that, we like to take a trip to a conservatoire every year to just experience what it's like to be there on an open day and see some masterclasses. Um, and we'll also take you out to concerts. Um, so, for example, we've been to Turner Sims recently and the Portsmouth Guildhall and there might be some relevant symphonies happening or some jazz. So, yeah, we'll try and take you out as much as we can. And every year we have an industry week here at college where we invite in um, professionals in the field to come and talk to you and sometimes past students who are working in the music industry just to open your eyes to the wide range and variety of jobs that there are out in the community that you might consider. So in the past we've had people like um, musicians from the Royal Marines, um, we've had people from universities come in, conservatoire teachers, composers, um, students who've gone on to write music for computer games. Um, so uh, yeah, a wide variety of, of people. So I hope that's been interesting for you. Do contact us if you have any questions and we hope to see you soon.